I'm going to perform visual infusion plebitis assessment or VIP assessment and cannula flush on my patient. So first, I'm going to make sure that the scene is safe, free from any cords, cables, clutters that might pose risk to the patient, me and others. Once the scene is safe, I'm going to perform my hand washing in accordance to the WHO guidelines to prevent cross-contamination before and after touching the patient, before aseptic or clean procedure, before um, touching the patient's surrounding, and after bodily fluid risk exposure. So I'm going to perform my hand washing for 20 to 30 seconds by getting an ample amount of the product in my hand. Start rubbing palm to palm, back of my hands with my fingers interlace, vice versa, palm to palm with my fingers interlace, back of my fingers with my fingers interlock, rotational rubbing of the tips of my fingers against my palm, vice versa, rotational rubbing of my thumbs and my wrists. And once my hands are dry, I can approach my patient in a calm and professional manner. So hello, good morning. My name is Christian. I'm going to be your nurse for today. What do you want to be called? Please call me Catherine. Hi, Catherine. Um, can I just ask, are you comfortable and warm enough? Yes, I am. Thank you for asking. Can you see and hear me clearly? Yes. That's good to hear. So before I proceed, do you mind if I just close the curtains to provide you privacy and preserve your dignity? Yes, please. Okay, so now closing the curtains, going to do a quick hand rub. Now, Catherine, I do still need to do a quick identity check. Um, do you mind just telling me your complete name and your date of birth, please? Yes, it's Catherine Niles. Mm -hmm. And my birth date is 3rd of 11, 1989. Okay, so I've got that details on my chart. Do you mind just telling me your complete address as well? Yes, it's 3 Bucks Grove Street, Worthing. Okay, so simultaneously checking my chart, so I've got the correct details. So I am happy with that I am with the right patient. Um, Catherine, do you mind just telling me if you get any allergies to food or medications as well? Oh, none that I know. Okay, that's good to hear. So don't worry, all details that you'll be sharing with us will be handled with strictest confidentiality and only members of the healthcare team will have access to it, okay? Okay, so the reason I'm here, Catherine, is I'm going to do a visual infusion plebitis assessment or VIP assessment on your cannula and do a flushing just to check if it's still patent. With my assessment, I'm going to take appropriate action to, to either continue observing your cannula, if I need to recite it, consider or initiate treatment. I did also mention that we're going to do a cannula flush using a posse flush or normal saline, which, we, which will have a side effect of chills as we do the procedure, but don't worry, I'll be here to monitor you for 30 to 60 minutes. This is a needless procedure, so it's not going to be painful, um, but if you feel any discomfort, just feel free to inform me so I can stop the procedure right away. Is that okay with you, Catherine? That's fine with me. Um, is this a convenient time for us to do it? Yes, it is. And are you happy for me to do it? Yes. Okay, if that's the case, so I'm leaving you this call bell. You could press that one if you need me. I'll just be in the other room fixing my things and I'll be with you right away, okay? All right, thank you. Okay, so now I'm going to prepare my material. So I'm going to do a quick hand rub and start assembling my materials. So I'm going to start off with my tray. It should be clean, dry, intact, and has been disinfected for the last 24 hours. Accessories, is this safe for me to use? Clean and safe to use. I also need two alcohol swabs, making sure that both are clean, dry, intact, and not past expiry date of 2023. I'm also going to use a normal saline or a posse flush, clean, dry, intact, and not past expiry date of 2024. So now I'm going to counter check it with my prescription chart. So the prescription chart says saline or posse flush to be given intravenously, 10 meals to be given today at 1200 hours with the signature of Dr. Kem. So this is safe for me to use. Since this is an administration of medication, I must make sure to adhere to the rights of medication, making sure that I have the right patient, right drug, right dose, right date and time, right route and method of administration, right bill you went if applicable, rechecking of allergy, and I have to make sure that the prescription is complete, legible, and valid with the prescriber's signature and bleep number. If any of this is missing, I'm not going to administer the medication and escalate the prescription back to the prescriber. And if I am unfamiliar with the medication, I must um, check my British National Formulary or BNF. And also, this is an administration of intravenous medication, so I have to make sure to get one colleague of mine, counter-check the prescription and the uh, medication. Now I'm going to put on my apron and gloves. I'm going to do a quick hand rub and start off with my apron. When putting on the apron, I'm going to make sure that the inside part is facing the patient. And as I put it on, it's not touching my hair or the floor and I'm going to make sure to secure it at my back. Now do a quick hand rub before putting on the gloves one at a time. Now 
And now I'm ready to bring my materials back to the patient's bedside. Okay. So Kat, I am back with the materials. Are you still happy for us to proceed? Yes, please. Um, before I continue, do you mind just telling me your complete name and date of birth again? Yes, it's Catherine Miles, 3rd of 11th, 1989. Right, so I can confirm that I still have the correct patient. Okay, so now Catherine, I'm just going to do an assessment on your cannula site. So Catherine, do you feel any pain on this side? No, I'm alright. Okay, so I can see that there's also no redness, there's no swelling. I can't see any palpable venous cord as well. And assessor, can I just confirm what's the patient's temperature? It's within a therapeutic range. Okay, so that means that the patient is also not suffering from any pyrexia. So the VIP score is zero, so it means that I can continue observing the cannula site. Now I'm going to proceed with the um, cannula flush. So I'm going to start off with opening my fossi flush. So wrappers will go to the domestic waste bin. I'm going to do next is clean the cannula port using my normal saline or my alcohol swab. This goes to the domestic waste bin. And I'm going to clean the port in a circular motion from inner to outer for 30 seconds. One, two, three, four, five. 30 seconds up. Thank you, assessor. So now I'm going to let it dry for another 30 seconds. One, two, three, four. Thank you, Assessor. So now I'm going to um, attach the posse flush using a septic non-touch technique and making sure to um, flush the cannula using a pulsating manner. So Catherine, I'm going to start doing the flushing now. So please do tell me if you feel any pain so I can stop the procedure right away, okay? So how are you feeling? It's all right. So now I am done. Now this will go to the clinical waste bin and I need to clean the port again using my second alcohol swab with the same manner from inner to outer in a circular motion for 30 seconds. One, two, three, four. 30 seconds up. Okay, and letting it dry for another 30 seconds. One, two, three, four. 30 seconds up. Thank you, assessor. So now this will go to the clinical waste bin. All right. Now, Katerine, I'm done with the procedure. How are you feeling? Right, so just to remind you, I'm still here to monitor you for 30 to 60 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring my staff in the other room to do my aftercare. If you need me, just give me a call and I'll be here to assist you, okay? Alright. Okay, so now I'm going to bring my materials back to the working area. And now I'm going to make sure to do my aftercare. I'm going to do a quick hand rub and then do a new pair of gloves and I'm going to make sure to dispose everything that touched the patient to the clinical waste bin. All rubbers, uh, wrappers or rubbishes will be disposed to the domestic waste bin. The tray will be clean and disinfected to the, for the next use and my apron and gloves will be disposed to the clinical waste bin. Now I'm going to do my final documentation and final hand washing. And that's it.